It's a very special day today, being Remembrance Day, and also um, the wedding of my little girl. It's what I've always called her. Every day when I get home from or used to get home from work, she'd be there waiting for me in a little blue foam couch with a beer. She was just always happy to see you the whole time. It was great. When she was about five, I took her out for a first surf which is something that we love to do together and we still do 22 years later. I met Taylor for the first time at our home when he used to ride bikes a bit with Jack Leithy. Knowing Jack since he was a little tacker, I thought Taylor might not be too bad as well. After a friendly chat from a protective dad, off Ali and Taylor went on their date. Just over 10 years ago, I came home from a night at the footy and said to my best friend, I could marry that boy. You had my heart from the beginning, and today I finally get to see my 16-year-old self strength come true. It seems surreal to me that we are even standing up here today, because in my mind we're still those 16-year-olds who fell in love. I've known since the day that I met you that you were special. You're beautiful, intelligent, funny, and I will finally concede well out of my league. And from early on in our relationship, I knew that if I was ever going to be standing up here today, that it would be you opposite me. I needn't ever have worried about Taylor going out with Al, as he was and is a ripper bloke. And I think they are soulmates, <laughs> in the true sense. Sorry, this is where it gets a bit hard. <laughs> Oh, right, Ali's one of those people that just lights up the room with a smile. And we're all glad that Nan made it here tonight. And the weather forced us inside this building, even though they wanted it outside on the grass, in this building being the, the barn that Pa built. It's serendipity. Oh, you beautiful, Al. He would be very proud, as Ros and I are, of Ali here today, the sort of person she's developed into. You'll always be my little girl. <laughs> Mine and TJ's friendship really, really peaked at 13 to 14 years old. I mean, it's always growing, but I think that was a real pinnacle for me. And then he met beautiful Al. And I think everyone on TJ's side of the family, friends and everything, knew that she was the one. Al, you bring out the very best in TJ. You bring out sides of him that I never knew existed. You bring out the property development side of him that I never knew existed. <laughs> And now look what you have. You have the absolute Taj Mahal right in Churnside Park. But I really, really couldn't be proud of you both, honestly. I think tonight is a celebration of not only your love, but what you've achieved this year. And I think it's incredible and it's hats off to you both because it's amazing. As our icon Meredith Grey once said to Derek, <laughs> I can live without you, but I don't want to. 
you always encourage me to be my best self and chase my own dreams, which I can do confidently because I know you'll always be there by my side cheering me on. I promise to celebrate with you in the exciting times and squeeze your hand a little bit tighter in the tough times. I promise to continue working on my love language of words to make sure a day doesn't go by that you don't know how much I love you. I promise to be loyal and generous with my love for you, to treat you as my best friend and equal partner in all the adventures that we have to come. I choose you above all others to face life's joys and challenges with and to hopefully one day raise a family with. I can't wait to see you become a dad and can only hope that our future children will inherit your warm heart. I'm so proud and excited to be able to call you my husband. Again, it pains me to say this, but as Luke Coombs has said, some things just go better together. And Taylor, I think that's you and I. By the love that has brought you here, by the vows and the rings you've exchanged, and by the integrity of your commitment, it is my pleasure and honour to pronounce you husband and wife. Taylor, you may now kiss your bride. All the effort and time you put into tonight, like, it's all, it's paid off. But re what really matters is the love you know, that you have for one another. I believe you were really put in this earth to be each other's person and to know you both is to love you both unconditionally and we're all so lucky to be a part of this love story. Al, I promise to be your biggest fan, celebrate all your wins no matter how big or small. And I promise to support you through every bump in the road no matter what. I'll always be there for you, always on your side, be that shoulder to lean on and to remind you that everything will be okay in the end. And if it's not okay, then it's not the end. You're my best friend, Al. I love this life that we've made, and I can't wait for the next chapter to unfold. I love you.